Marissa. Um, you had, okay. <laughs> you kind of, <laughs> you kind of a little bit had a little bit of a love triangle going on. What was that defining moment for you to kind of shift your focus to Ramsey uh, in in the pods? I think um, the physical intimacy conversation that Ramses and I had was really kind of like the defining moment that I was like, this is the person I kind of want to be with. Um, he just, the way he spoke about the physical intimacy and the questions that he was asking me made me feel very safe and that was really important for me. Um, Bowden didn't really want to talk about that stuff on camera and I really was like, I want the person who's in this experiment with me to really be in it and ignore that, you know, we, I want to be in a bubble. And so I felt like Bowden kind of burst our bubble a bit and it was really hard for me to kind of get back in there with him. Uh, Hannah, I think you had one of the most interesting moments in the pods in, in Love is Blind history for sure. The day you enter the pods to kind of break up with Leo, it was a whirlwind of events. But take us behind the emotions that you kind of process what went down, but then processing it full circle to kind of commit to Nick. Yeah, I think it's it's just very confusing because there's just so much emotions. And like you're like, I don't know what to do because like this is marriage. And it's like you're, it's very emotional. You're just trying to make the right decision and then like, you get very emotional and like breakups are hard and then like maybe you regret it maybe you don't and I, I just think like I just gave myself grace and just trying to figure it out and like um there's just a lot of passion with Leo Nick myself and so it was just we were just trying to work through it and I think um we tried our best you know <laughs> my favorite moments are always the big reveals you know what I mean because you never know what you're going to get on the other side of that wall but <laughs> kind of what was going through your head leading up to the reveal and meeting uh Tyler for the first time Honestly, Tyler and I had built such a connection in the pods that I was willing to continue that connection no matter what he looked like. However, you know, <laughs> it didn't hurt that he was a little easy on the eyes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I can't lie. Like, I, when I seen him, I was like, oh, like, ironically, I, yeah, like, I didn't fall for you for this, but okay, you know. So, um, yeah, he was super nervous, and, and, and I was a little nervous, too, to my surprise. Um, but I think we both were pleased with what we saw and <laughs> that the, you know, the heart matched uh, the package, yeah, period. Yes. Look. <laughs> Taylor, I think one of the more fascinating things was is you didn't really allow the conversations to explore on your background of your culture and ethnicity. Yeah. How important was it for you to find love based on those conversations versus anything else? Um, I think, well, to start off, like I'm a very proud Asian woman and I really wanted to share that with Garrett, just not in the pods. I wanted, um, to go in with my ethnicity out of the equation. And when I have dated in the real world, I have been made pretty uncomfy by some men and their sentiments toward Asian women, whether you like them or don't like them. So it was just a once in a lifetime opportunity to go and fall in love with someone just for the merits of themselves and not know what I look like. So that's why I did it.